Hello, good morning. Time for business on News Desk. Flag bearer of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, Nana Ekufuado, has underscored the need for the establishment of an industrial fund and an urgent recapitalization of the National Investment Bank, NIB, as critical to the country's industrialization agenda. This, according to him, is the only way Ghana's economy could be restored. As Ghana prepares for a general election in December, political parties have, among other things, been spelling out their policies towards resuscitating the economy. Speaking at the annual general meeting of the Ghana Employers Association, Nanado said retooling industry is critical for economic recovery. Establishing an industrial development fund as an omnibus fund to finance critical industrial support interventions. Recapitalizing and refocusing the operations of the National Investment Bank, NIB, to provide significant financial resources to support industrial development, including retooling and acquisition of new technologies by local industries. Reorienting the focus of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center to attract investments into selected strategic industries, including large-scale anchor industries to serve as growth poles for the Ghanaian economy, petrochemical, iron and steel, cement, integrated aluminum and bauxite, industrial salt, vehicle assembly, manufacturing of machinery, equipment, and machine parts. On his part, flag bearer of the Progressive People's Party, PPP, Dr. Parkwisi Indum, says indigenizing the economy would be one of his party's major policy directions towards economic growth. One of the things that we have said a PPP administration will do, one of the first things, is to come up with a regulation that no organization funded by the states should buy anything that is imported when that item is produced in Ghana, straight away. Don't care about WTO, WTO exists. But if you are in Japan and you want to eat American beef, you will pay a higher price for it. WTO exists, but if you go to Korea and you want to ride in a Mercedes Benz, you will pay a higher price for it. And that is why over 90% of the cars in Korea are made in Korea. Because that's what we will do. And I'm not just talking about rice. I'm not just talking about sugar or anything like that. I am also talking about contracts for construction and those things that take professional competence to do. We're talking about all of those kinds of things. So if we can produce it in Ghana, it will be, it, it will be provided by what is produced in Ghana, plain and simple. And that's it for business. Join me again at midday for more business news updates. Meanwhile, you can get more business news or business stories when you log on to myjoinline.com/business. My name is Imano Abuaji Biafi. Good morning.